Hello, hello, and a wonderful on passive day to you. I hope that your day is going great, great, great. Um, the business landscape has rapidly changed uh, following the turn of the century. It strengthened and gave momentum to both the idea of technology for increasing automation and sustainability as we moved into the fourth industrial revolution, as well as the idea of conscious business as we became more in concern with the sustainability and our environments. Um, to that end, those that uh, are listening are no doubt familiar with new technologies, especially AI, but conscious business concepts actually started back in the 1950s and 60s. And that's when the theory of corporate social responsibility was first introduced. And it wasn't until about the 1980s or so that a lot of so-called green brands started popping up in rural communities and uh, they were selling natural products. Uh, it was a big deal and it still is. It's a trend that's continued. Now, conscious businesses and the people that run them choose to follow a business strategy that opens up uh, and operates from the benefit of human beings and the environment. So it's not just for the business. Put another way, a conscious business is a company that does no harm. It's got a uh, rather holistic awareness of uh, the impact of its actions and continually tries to do better and usually addresses at least one social or environmental problem through its business model operations. And that statement does a very good job of describing on passive, which has risen from the humble beginnings of conscious business concepts. Its inception uh, has amplified the compassion behind that concept, uh, probably a thousand fold through the vision of its CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara. And we have uh, the mantras like AI with heart and the correction to the corruption as a result of our business model. Uh, for this reason, I believe that on passive is uh, probably the most conscious business on the planet. So in keeping with the philosophies of the new conscious business model, traditional factors of market share and profit are no longer the only indicators of a, uh, a company's success. And as you may expect, success in today's business environment is gauged by a new set of rules, if you will, that combine different categories. Uh, namely, the categories of tools and philosophies. Now, under the tools category, we have elements or elements, excuse me, of uh, advanced technologies. Uh, under the philosophies category, we have ideas that put human compassion at the operational center of business. Now, on passive has been doing that for the last five years by mixing technology and heart into the corporate setting. And that's how the AI with heart mantra came to be. There are six of these integrating philosophies that I'd like to talk about here. Three of these are in the technology category and three more are in the philosophy category. And it turns out the new businesses today need these specific areas as a foundation if they expect to succeed. Three of them are technologies, three are philosophies. The three technologies are AI, cloud, and IoT, they are part of the on-passive core. On the other side, the philosophies of human-centric design, art, and responsibility balance out that AI with heart mantra. Now, these six things are the core elements of business in the new world. And as we go through them, keep in mind that on-passive is immersed in each one. Each of these is integral to on-passive. Each is a component of, of what we do and each has its own significance in making Unpassive a completely compassionately unique, technologically transformative company. And that's how we roll. So the first one is AI. AI is artificial intelligence. It's transformed business operations by enabling the very fast analysis of um, enormous data sets, automating tedious or repetitive tasking, and it provides insights that help us make strategic decisions for business. It does this by using processes that uncover hidden platforms, predict customer processes that uh, uh, show us uh, customer behaviors, and by amping up the processes that we use to increase productivity, reduce costs, and improve customer interaction. Additionally, as in the case with OnPassive, 
AI powered tools like chatbots and uh, virtual assistants have also improved customer service capability and can uh, actually engage customers in real time, one on one. And with AI, businesses operate with greater speed and accuracy concerning that. And on passive has written its software from the ground up. But every product in this digital ecosystem is also automated and integrated with our own AI. And AI, in the case of OnPassive, is also used for our chatbot and virtual assistants to make them emotionally intelligent through machine learning so they can actually be able to learn how to recognize the user's characteristics, their moods, and even our intentions. Now, the second in this category, the second technology in this category is cloud computing. Cloud computing infrastructure and services have enabled businesses to operate with a lot, a lot more flexibility. Scalability is faster, and uh, we have the uh, opportunity for more collaboration. And by hosting resources and applications in the cloud, companies can access and share data from anywhere, anytime, on any device, as long as they have an internet connection. And this has made remote work and working together in real time a lot easier and more productive and much more easily scalable by quickly adding more connections. These types of service also provide automatic software updates, system redundancies, and backups. Plainly speaking, cloud computing has transformed the way that we do business by making it easier to move with the changing market conditions, and that allows more growth. On Passive has its first data center online, and is networked between the continents. We're expecting three more relatively soon, and we expect more as we develop. With these resources and more, we expect to enter the cloud market in a very strong way, not only for our well-being, but only, uh, I mean, also for uh, security of our data. Now, the third one is Internet of Things, IoT. We've probably all heard of that, right? And IoT lets us connect things. It connects devices. And this means any device with the capability and a network connection can communicate and exchange data with each other and with other systems. This integration improves customer experiences by providing personalized and context-aware interactions. For example, Smart homes can adjust lighting and temperature. They can turn on systems you know, from remote locations, things like that. IoT can also be used to automate processes, predict maintenance needs, and all sorts of other stuff that allows us to make better use of resources. In industries like healthcare and logistics, IoT helps us and lets us monitor our patients and track supplies. So in short, IoT lets us use our ecosystems made of software and physical devices to make our lives better, easier. And on Passive has hired some of the best technicians, developers, and engineers on the planet. The software, along with the inventions and the physical products coming out of our innovation labs, will be second to none and for the benefit and betterment of humanity. And you can believe that we'll have devices to go with some of the digital products that we've got and that it's all going to be connected. AI, cloud computing, and IoT. These will be our playthings in the innovation labs and the tools of our business, and with them, we'll dominate the internet. We are an AI, IT company of the highest caliber, and we are in our own class. Quite frankly, we're just getting started, and we're in it to win it. So, boom. That's another mantra, by the way. Now, in addition to the three tools that we just talked about, another three part needed to derive uh, direction and ensure success in business today are uh, what we call business philosophies. On Passive has incorporated into its business uh, these philosophies, and um, they did that actually. I mean, just about right out of the gate, it was uh, you know uh, halfway through 2019 when we really got the direction and and uh, moved from a marketing to an AI IT company, and these. Uh, philosophies coupled with the tools that we just mentioned, and they gave us the uh, mantra, uh, AI with heart. And these integrating philosophies take heart, otherwise called compassion or goodwill, and um, they uh, put it in a position of priority for business, meaning um, that heart and compassion are central to our business. Now, these uh, philosophies include um, human-centered uh, human design, uh, which is 
uh, I think originated about 1958 at Stanford University uh, when Professor John Arnold, John E. Arnold, uh, suggested that engineering design should be human-centered. As such, human-centered design, HCD as it's called, is a way for business to focus on user needs, behaviors, and experiences. Based on these three elements of empathy, creativity, and the needs of business, it puts these at the core development and um, um, customer service or at the core of product development, I'll put it that way, in customer service. In other words, it's a design approach that considers the needs, the wants, and the uh, limitations even of people in the design process. Through empathy and research, we can understand the user's needs, generate ideas, test those ideas to create solutions, then refine the solutions to create products, services, and experiences that can be intuitive, as well as effective. Of course, OnPass has been doing that for, you know, for, for a while uh, through its charter member base uh, for years. Um, this is because by its very nature, human-centered design emphasizes working together, experimenting, and having a continuous feedback loop, so to speak, to make sure that those designs meet the needs and expectations while also leading us to uh, innovative solutions that have positive impacts and improve our lives and the planet. Now, part of the responsibility of the charter member base as a uh, constituent of human-centered design, if you will, has been to let the techs know what works and what the challenges are, to let them know what things are needed and what things we can do without. In short, one of our jobs, so to speak, has been to be active, to play with the new products, to scroll through the pages, to touch and poke every piece of the product, and provide feedback. So whether you know it or not, we've been doing that for years, uh, some more than others. Um, the second part of this is what we call corporate social responsibility, CSR. Now, corporate social responsibility refers to the business's voluntary efforts to promote social environmental and economic sustainability. It involves adopting um, responsible practices and contributing to the well-being of stakeholders, which includes employees, customers, members, communities, the environment, the whole shebang. Uh, CSR goes beyond legal compliance and profit making, right? Because it actually aims to uh, only create positive impacts as well as minimize the negative impacts. It uh, encompasses areas like philanthropy, uh, right, giving, uh, sustainability, diversity, uh, ethical practices, uh, demonstrating a company's commitment to being a responsible and caring member of society, of the communities. And by embracing uh, CSR, businesses can build trust, uh, enhance reputation, and contribute to uh, a better world overall. Um, and that's exactly what OnPass has been doing with the high-powered strategic partnerships that uh, we've developed. Um, that's why OnPass is working on sustainable energy products, physical products that will blow your mind and swell your heart at the thought of, right? I mean, these things will really make you feel good, what they're trying to do with the world. It's, it's, it's incredible. And that's what we're doing, right? By, by putting so much value into our products and then only charging the bare minimum. It's because people out there are, you know, uh, in normal business or taking advantage of us across every sector on the planet and they've been for a long time. So we have to be in every sector. You think that's a coincidence? No, that's by design. Now think about it. What would a company have to do to literally be the correction to the corruption? That's what OnPassive is doing. We're not there yet, but we're making progress for all the right reasons. Corporate social responsibility? Oh yeah, we got this. Now, the third one is what we call conscious capitalism. Conscious capitalism is a business philosophy that uh, looks to elevate capitalism beyond simply maximizing our profits, right, or our market share. It emphasizes purpose, passion, and compassion, aiming to create long-term value for all stakeholders, employees, customers, suppliers, communities, and even the environment, value. Boom, we're built on it, right? Conscious capitalism encourages companies to cultivate a strong sense of purpose, align their actions with ethical principles, and foster a trust uh, culture, a culture of trust, transparency, 
and accountability. Now, by prioritizing, by prioritizing the well-being of members and stakeholders, as well as the planet, conscious capitalism can create a more equitable, sustainable, and socially responsible form of business that benefits everybody. And if I didn't know better, you know, I'd swear whoever came up with uh, the, this particular philosophy uh, took the verbiage right out of uh, the On Passive Playbook. Because, you know, when you think about it, it's the only company on the planet that I'm aware of, right, with a stated goal of lifting humanity. Have you ever seen the, uh, our vision statement? It was written four years ago. Yeah, just about the same time Mr. Mufara changed the future by changing the direction and vision of On Passive to become an AI IT company. And the whole, uh, the whole statement is listed, but get a load of the last line, right? It says, by offering the simplest environment with the highest standards and the most value while sustaining the benefits of a global stimulus plan. Now, folks tend to overlook that, I believe. Now, as a result, I want to explain that. You know, I want to, I want to kind of drill down or expand that out if I can, you know, blow it up, give an exploded view. A company that provides benefits like that of a global stimulus plan is one that offers a wide range of programs and policies that have a profound impact on the well-being and prosperity of its employees, its customers, and the wider community. Just as global stimulus plans aim to boost economic growth, create jobs, and improve living standards, a company with similar benefits would prioritize initiatives that promote financial stability, skill development, and overall quality of life. This might include generous employee benefits. Think about that, members, right? Community investment programs. How about OBLESS? How about some of these strategic platforms that we've uh, opened up, right? Um, sustainable practices that contribute to healthier environments and society, right? And by adopting a holistic approach to benefits, such a company, i.e. on passive, demonstrates a commitment to fostering a better world for all of its stakeholders and all of its members. Now, at on passive, we're harnessing the power of technology to create a better world. Our heart-led approach puts people and the planet at the forefront of everything we do, and we're committed to conscious business practices that prioritize ethic, inclusivity, and compassion. Our cutting edge solutions leverage the latest advancements in AI, cloud computing, and IoT to drive innovation and positive impact. So join us in shaping a brighter future for all and help us to uh, make the world a better place. Just scan the QR code, click the link in the description box below, or visit onpassive.com. Check us out. But whatever you do, I hope that you have an awesome day, and we wish only blessing and blessing for you and for yours. Thank you so much.